I am Dee from Everyday VR, and this is VR Speed Reader. VR Speed Reader was created in collaboration with Metatron VR, particularly with Nate8, who was responsible for the original idea. VR Speed Reader uses virtual reality to completely fill your field of vision with the text that you're reading, while using rapid serial visual presentation to quickly move the text in front of you so that you can read it without moving your eyes. And this is just a demonstration of this technology on three sample text. You can choose which sample text you want to read by looking at it in the menu. Um, there's Sherlock Holmes, Jonathan Swift, and Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to start with this one. I'm just going to tap on it. It moves into the distance and is surrounded by black. This is used to hide the loading delay by using a synchronous time warp. In a few moments, it will load. Now we're going to see the page appear with the text on it, and then it will split into two copies of the same page. And these two copies are used to hide the fact that you are transitioning from one line to the next by making that transition completely transparent so that it appears as though you're always moving to the right. Now the instructions appear above at the beginning. At any time, you can change the rate at which you're reading by moving your head slightly to the left to slow down, that makes the red ring appear, or to the right to speed up, which makes the green ring appear. You can also tap the touchpad at any time to bring up the pause menu, which I will show you in a moment. So we're gonna go ahead and speed up. The green ring appears. We start out at a standstill and we go faster. I will let you watch the text for a moment so that you can get some impression of how this works. Now, I will tap on my touchpad to bring up the pause menu. I'm currently reading at about 650 words a minute, which is much faster than I can read a normal text um, on a normal page. So this is benefiting me by enabling me to read much more quickly, while also enabling me to see the entire text and context around the text, unlike a traditional RSVP application like Spritz, which only shows me the current word that I'm reading, which doesn't enable me to anticipate what text is upcoming or to reflect upon text that I've already read earlier. Now, if I happen to miss a piece of text, for example, because I'm going too quickly, I'm gonna press continue reading, and then I'm gonna speed it up a bit. So say I speed it up too much, and I'm trying to read at this rate, and then I discover that I can't keep up. I can bring up the pause menu, bring down my words per minute to a more reasonable level, and then I can go back one or five lines and try the last section again. At any time, we can return to the main menu and select a different text, either by selecting Exit to Main Menu from the Pause menu or by pressing the Back button on our Gear VR. The ability to dynamically select your current reading speed at any time uh, without setting a fixed setting in your setting menu is actually preferable because it enables you to adapt to the text in real time. For example, Alice in Wonderland is a text that was originally written to be accessible to children, whereas a text like Jonathan Swift's A Modest Proposal is written in a different tone with a much different vocabulary, much of which is currently obsolete and therefore difficult for modern readers to understand. If we start it, we'll quickly discover that if we move too quickly in this text, we won't be able to keep up with the language. Therefore, by keeping our words per minute at a lower rate when reading this text, we can keep up with the unfamiliar language. Additionally, the system automatically spends a longer portion of time on longer words. Because these words tend to be uh, more infrequent and more unfamiliar, for example, the word Barbados in the previous sentence or prodigious in the current one, this enables us to spend more time on words that we may need more time to fully comprehend. In the future, there are a number of ways that we're going to expand this work. That includes enabling you to read any text on your device, 
for example, to extract text from an EPUB file or a text file, and modifying the amount of time spent on each word based on a model that models familiarity with the the word and the and the type of and the word in that context, as opposed to the simple scheme that merely uses the length of a word as as a proxy for that information. This has been VR Speed Reader.